So I was looking around at home and I happened to find this old analog TV. Unfortunately, there is no video port. You can only accept signals through an antenna. Looks like it dates back to 2001. I was still a baby then. Now that I've plugged it in, let's try to power it up. Well, I can't get any picture because all the analog channels have been phased out. In order to use this TV, I have to get an RF modulator. But I didn't want to spend money on it. I found this project on Hackaday where they use an AT Tiny to do NTSC signals and AM modulation. His code is interesting in which he uses PWM to do AM modulation. But my TV uses PAL and I do not have an AT Tiny around. So I have to write the code from scratch. Let me show you my setup. TV is tuned to channel 3. I'm using a nuclear board I had lying around and it costs only about 15 bucks. And the PC can transfer its video stream using the USB interface. Let me plug it in. And now from my computer, let me upload an image. I'm uploading a GIF file and it's processing and you can see the animation. I decided to implement a virtual COM port instead of UART because UART is a bit too slow. I also tried using DMA and so far it's been pretty smooth. Except I'm facing one issue where the upload speed doesn't match the frame rate of the TV and it causes these weird distortions. But so far I'm actually pretty happy with what I have. It uses only one wire serving as the antenna. The signal can't travel very far but it serves my purpose well. Now let me explain my code. I'm simply using PLL to clock the system at 96 MHz just below the maximum of 100 MHz and then I have a 48 MHz clock for the USB FS interface but now I have a constraint I need the timer to be a multiple of the transmitted frequency but notice that our PWM is a square wave which means there are odd harmonics as a very extreme case, I decided to go with a timer period of 14 and I am making use of the 9th harmonics which gives me my channel frequency. In a practical world, no one will transmit a square wave because it will affect the other channels. But this is just a nice proof of concept because I am working with limited constraints and I just want to get this thing working. Thank you for watching. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions or if you find any mistakes, do let me know too. See you next time.